Hello, athletes and fitness enthusiasts. Jürgen Swinkels here. In the light of the growing trend toward drinking plant-based beverages, today I'm going to compare vegan milk versus cow milk. Actually, the term milk for vegan beverages, such as soy milk and almond milk, is kind of misleading, as these beverages do not meet the definition of milk being a nutrient-rich liquid produced by the mammary glands of mammals. Because of that, there are legal movements by the dairy industry in numerous countries to disallow the use of the word milk for vegan beverages. Of course, it's outside the scope of this video to discuss the terminology, but nevertheless, I wanted to mention it for the sake of completeness. With the growing number of people, including athletes, switching from an omnivorous diet to a vegan diet, it makes sense to compare cow milk with vegan milk, especially with sport and exercise in mind. The most common plant-based beverages available are soy, almond, rice, oat, pea and coconut milk. So the question is, can you simply replace cow milk by one of these vegan milks? Are plant-based beverages more equal or less nutritious than cow milk? And with many athletes drinking dairy products as a source of protein, let's review the available evidence about the nutritional status of milk and plant-based beverages with a focus on protein and amino acids. The role of protein in the athlete's diet has gained a lot of attention over the years, resulting in the consensus that athletes require more protein than sedentary people. Data also indicates that protein requirements should be tailored to reflect sport-specific and training goal requirements. Typical recommendations therefore include 1.6 to 1.7 gram per kilogram body weight per day or even more for strength and power athletes and 1.2 to 1.4 gram per kilogram body weight per day for endurance athletes. These values are notably higher than the 0.8 gram per kilogram body weight per day recommended for most non-active adults. The UEFA consensus statement about sports nutrition even mentioned a recommendation of 1.6 to 2.2 gram per kilogram body weight per day for professional football players. The role of protein in the athlete's diet is multi-faced. Protein serves as a substrate for exercise performance and a catalyst for exercise adaptation. The balance between muscle protein breakdown and muscle protein synthesis is known as net protein balance. Important to remember here is that a positive net protein balance via elevated muscle protein synthesis promotes exercise recovery, adaptation and anabolism or muscle growth. So the total amount of protein intake is important for athletes. Now let's compare the total amount of protein in cow milk with the amount in vegan milks. The table here makes clear that besides soy and pea milk, other cow milk alternatives contain much less protein or even no protein at all. So from that perspective, soy milk and pea milk seem suitable candidates to replace cow milk. Nevertheless, the table only indicates the total amount of protein and does not provide info about the quality of the protein. The quality of the protein is determined by 1. The amino acid composition of the protein. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. And 2. The digestibility of the protein. The digestibility indicates how well the body can use the protein source. So let's first look at the amino acid composition. The quality of the protein is partly dependent on its amino acid profile. There are two types of amino acids, the essential amino acids and the non-essential amino acids. The essential amino acids can not be produced by the body and therefore must be obtained through your diet. The non-essential amino acids can be synthesized by the body. In general, one could say that the more essential amino acid present in a protein source, the higher its quality. 
Unfortunately, plant-based protein sources are often incomplete, missing important essential amino acids, and typically contain less branched chain amino acid or BCAAs than the animal-based equivalents. The branch chain refers to the chemical structure of these amino acids. Branch chain amino acids stimulate the building of protein in muscle and possibly reduce muscle breakdown and therefore are of particular interest to athletes. The three branch chain amino acids are leucine, isoleucine and valine. Especially leucine appears to be a primary trigger of muscle protein synthesis and plays an important role in promoting recovery and adaptation from exercise. Since we are looking at the possibility of replacing cow milk by vegan milk for athletes, I believe we can focus on soy and pea milk since most other vegan milks contain little or no protein. The table here compares the branch chain amino acid content of dairy protein and soy protein and pea protein. So even though soy and pea protein are not far behind, it becomes clear that cow milk protein has a superior branch chain amino acids profile. The second quality indicator is digestibility. If we want to look at digestibility of protein sources, the most advanced method is the Digestible Indispensable Amino Acid Score, or DS. It is a protein quality method proposed by the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization. The DS represents the amino acid digestibility at the end of the small intestine, providing an accurate measure of the amounts of amino acid absorbed by the body. Here is how the DS scoring system works. A score greater than 100 is an excellent quality protein. 75 to 99 is a good quality protein and less than 75 is a poor quality protein. The DS scores for milk, soy and pea protein sources are 122 for milk, 90 for soy and 64 for peas. So again, cow milk comes out on top. Altogether, cow milk takes up top position in all comparisons, total protein levels, BCAA levels and digestibility. The conclusion is simple. Cow milk cannot be replaced on a one-on-one -on -one basis by plant-based milks. And indeed, evidence suggests that milk-based proteins are superior to other protein sources at promoting muscle protein synthesis, mediated in part by the richness of its BCAA content. Even the habitual consumption of milk as part of a diet and resistance training program might lead to better muscle hypertrophy when compared to a soy protein supplemented equivalent. But does that mean that vegan milk lovers in general will never achieve what their fellow cow milk drinking athletes accomplish? Of course not. But if you are aiming at muscle adaptation, it's necessary to pick the most suitable vegetable milk source and ingest the required amount. And you can easily go wrong here. For example, you would have to consume more than double the amount of pea protein milk with a Diaz of 64 compared to cow milk with a Diaz of 122 to meet the same amino acid requirements to support muscle adaptation. It's a nuance often missed by plant-based milk drinkers and the major reason why it's important for vegan milk lovers to do some research before replacing cow milk. It definitely pays off to determine which vegan milk is the most suitable to support your exercise goals and how much you have to ingest for the optimum result. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We are dropping videos like this on YouTube on a regular basis. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments box below with hashtag School of Sports Nutrition and I'll do my best to get in there and get those questions answered right away.